Like, is it weird to you guys that peanuts can be that like toxic to people? Like what? what can the you fuck? guys do a baby cry sound? <laughs> <laughs> this podcast brought to you by the freckle on my asshole. It looks like poo. <laughs> there is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests, buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin, and in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to, <clears throat> welcome to, welcome to Sleepy Cast, <laughs> home of the Sleepy Cabin crew. The Sleepy Cast. <laughs> uh, I'm Chris. Wait, that was horrible. <laughs> I've got a severe lack no, that of was charisma. All, that was perfect. Okay. Was perfect. okay, Mick. Yeah. What is your thought on girls who bleed out of their okay. pussies? Okay. Oh, out of their pussies? Well, there's this new phenomenon going on. I I've seen more of it of recently, and I, I don't really like it because I think it's gross, but maybe that's just a bias. Is this this bleeder thing you were talking about? Yeah. Free okay, what the fuck is this bleeder thing? Free bleeding thing? is basically girls against the patriarchy, and they oh, think no. that the man made tampons for oh, them wow. to... Uh, to shut up? Shut that bloody vagina up! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically... Stop wow. talking, stop <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> like, these girls are going around, and they're not putting tampons in, so they're just, like, fucking staining everybody's, like, seats and stuff to, uh, to prove a point. Isn't that vandalism? I, I mean, that's my point. Like, it's like, these people think they're being outspoken, but it's like, the reason why you stuff cotton balls in your pussies Ladies, is this a real is, thing, Corey? <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's, no, it's just like really going on. Like, have you ever seen one? Though? No, I've seen like a few posts of it and stuff, and I've seen videos of people just bleeding like and walking recently? around. Yeah, it's. I it's, saw that like artistic it's a new thing. Phenomenon I saw going that artistic on. thing. Well, artistic in quotes, and she was standing uh, at a window like a mannequin, yeah. and she was fully naked, and she had like a big canvas under her, and she was like free bleeding on yeah, the yeah, canvas. Yeah, yeah. It, it's <laughs> basically like they just do mundane things and just like they're free bleeding. But basically, my biggest issue is. They think it's like this huge like thing where it's like, oh, society wants me to wear a tampon so I can fit what? in. But it's like, no, you're supposed to do that out of the courtesy of your heart. You're being kind when you don't bleed on people and stain their You know what? That would be stuff. like someone who had like a severe ass leakage problem and then they felt like they were being, you know, oppressed. Uh, yeah, oppressed because someone was like, dude, can you please wear a diaper because you got shit all <laughs> over my couch. Nick! It's like, damn what? you! Nick! Stop oppressing my ass! The ass leaking community are going to fucking go Nick. after you after this. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> Nick! Poopy butt syndrome is a very serious thing. And you know what? They tend Poopy to wear edge. diapers, right? They come in droves. Poopy butts. <laughs> they, they poop yeah. in droves, too. Yeah, they poop in droves. No, I mean, I'm just, like, I don't understand how the whole free bleeding thing can, it just seems it's really just, rude. It, it is, it's rude, it is and rude. it's just inconsiderate. And it's like these people think, like, oh, I'm being inconsiderate? Well, yeah. I mean, if you had a bloody, bloody arm, and a you were bleeding- finger. I got a bloody finger right now, I'm sucking on it. But, like, you, would, you wouldn't just be like, oh, <laughs> I'm just rubbing it all over your fucking couch and <laughs> well, shit. Well, you might. I would not. Well, what do you think the cave women did? That's what I was gonna say, like, why did we evolve to bleed out our pussies? Well, because they're, like, speaking ejecting that, their, like, vaginal walls I know, but fuck's sake, I was like. doing research, and I was, like, looking at, uh, image fat for, like, art and stuff. Like, oh, of course. okay, of spreading course. Spreading their pussies, because it's a good, it's a good referential place to find references for the kind of smut and dirty, <laughs> whorish art I do. Right. Um, so I was looking for references on what to draw, and, um... I noticed that a lot of older women tend to get these like gray crustaceans around the edges of their pussies. Crustaceans? Yeah. <laughs> like fucking crabs? The, the, the pussies like... There's like barnacles. Small lobsters. Yeah, lobsters. Do you remember that episode of Futurama where at the end the dude's like bones like fucking crippled into him? Yeah. It was like, yeah, do you oh, remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what pussies do. Cause, you know, I noticed something. I noticed like, you know, like teen and stuff you're not supposed to talk about pussies or oh. these prestige pussies pristine that have yet to fall prestige. out fall apart isn't that like they have an experience they like have a prestige ex level yeah. yeah yeah and then you see like these older women and their pussies are falling out graying around well, the edges what I don't understand like they're, they're gray everywhere they're, they're gray there yeah, like, yeah that one time when I saw an old lady puss I was like it's pretty gray looking I'm mean, like a lot <laughs> when I was in like, Vegas I looked up out of a swimming pool and I saw this old lady standing with big baggy shorts well, I, I saw her right up there pussies are like a jellyfish she was just standing there like <laughs> <laughs> Pussies, I guess, are like ex like exposed wounds that never heal. Yeah. They're just constantly open and let the air flow in. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of dangerous. Uh, you know, you talk about caveman times, and you know animals like bears and stuff can smell menstruation. They can smell the yeah, blood. Yeah, they can. The, the ovulation, the hormones and shit. It almost seems like a seems like something we would have evolved out of. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. I'm saying. Yeah. I would think that maybe pussies would eventually grow into a thing where they contract and go inside themselves. Well, like, ev evolution doesn't have, like, a, a set in mind. It's like, it doesn't know 
what it's going to do. But if pussies are supposed it to be works. made as baby makers, but it works. Yeah, it, if you, pussies are supposed to be baby makers and like baby fucking homes, um, then how come when a baby comes out, it's ruined forever? What the pussy's ruined forever? Yeah, you well, because because the baby ruined. the baby's big and the pussy has to expand uh, much larger. Yeah, but if pussies were like, made for that, they do. Trust me, yeah, look, they kind of are because after they get torn open, that's when like if you have like three or four kids, you could accidentally just fart one out and not even know because it's just been broken yeah, open, just open so many times. <laughs> just like, like it, it kind of seems kind of weird though. Like everything's evolved to like shit babies out and break your fucking like mm -hmm. hips and shit and your body changes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you kind of think like, why didn't we just mitosis? Like worms. Listen, yeah. it seems to make more Listen, sense. Listen, this is incredibly well, insensitive, and I'm not a girl, so I probably look like an ignorant asshole. We all do, Corey. Go on. <laughs> but it's just something I've always thought was interesting that pussies aren't made to withstand tons of babies. Well, they, they are, though. Like, well, they're supposed to, but they, like men are supposed to uh, impregnate as many women as possible, make them have as many babies just, as possible, so they can like have like. Yeah, but you destroy the foundation yeah. from the beginning, and then it's it just, no, you don't babies just fall out accidentally. No, yeah, but you have to like stitch a pussy back together when you're done with. Like, you don't have to. Yeah, but evolution doesn't know that. Like when you when you I know, but you, it should though. It's evolution. No, it shouldn't. Why it should. It? No, it shouldn't because like like the woman body is like, oh yeah, the dick isn't going to fucking feel my tight pussy anymore. It doesn't care. Like it doesn't know that. No, but Corey, you would think that. Corey, 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 free bleeder. <laughs> so yeah, so that's basically like uh, my biggest issue. But it's like sorry on on that. I just have to say this is kind of a segue. I remember one of the the first times I ever went down on a girl. No. This was oh so there's no names on this, but when I lived in Malaysia and uh, the girl I was dating at the time, she had a really nice apartment, but there was an empty apartment across from her apartment. So we went in there and it was dark. You know, it had a bed and it had some furniture, but it was pretty much empty. And you know, we were messing around, we were having sex. Dude. She told me to go down on her. She was actually very adamant about me going down on her. Anyways, so I go She's down. <clears throat> I go down and I'm like, "Wow, you are you are really wet, and oh. um, I, I don't know what's going no. on down here. No, and then, tastes delicious. No, and then then she put her hand down there, and she's like, "Oh my god, no, this isn't right." Uh, uh, go turn on a light. Go turn on a light. So I go over, I flip on the light, and she screams. There was blood all in between her legs, all over this. Ma like there was no sheets on the mattress. There was just the mattress, and there was also this big mirror that was like pinned up against the wall. So she's screaming. There's blood all over the bed. Like, like fucking murder. It's scene. like a yeah. It's like a murder scene. Like a baby. Exploding bloated out of her vagina or something, <laughs> and then I look in the mirror over her, and there's blood just all over my face going down my chin, no. and I start like, ah! Yeah, and I, uh, I never wanted to go down on a girl after that. It was very traumatizing. Dude, ever? Ever? Uh, I have since then. I got over it. The same thing happened to someone I used to know. He actually went down on... He went down on his girlfriend oh. on... Um, <laughs> he went down on his blood relative <laughs> on uh, uh, the 4th of July. You are from Missouri. Yeah. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, but he went down on um, her on the 4th of July, and he said that while he was doing it, he got this really... A strong spicy sensation in his mouth, but he kept going and he didn't know what it was. <laughs> and then later, spicy. later, <laughs> later on, he found okay, and this is the best part, okay, because the girl, you know, a part of the stereotype, she was Mexican, <laughs> so she ate a lot of spicy food. <laughs> so, was she pee in his mouth? No, she oh, bled in his mouth, but she just happened to have spicy vagina. Yeah, she, she had spicy vagina, but that's absolutely true, too. Because if I eat too much hot sauce and I take a piss, I can feel it burning my dick hole really? as it's coming yeah. out. So, she, so she must have eaten like one of those like spicy midnight enchiladas and when he went down on her he tasted like her like spicy blood that uh, like ovulated through her whole body and ovulated and well, well, okay if, if you ever ovulated if, if, if you've ever gone down on someone or if they've gone down on you has the uh person going down ha ever been farted on what the fuck okay. are you talking queefed about on. Like, you've been queefed oh, on queefed, queefed. On. Oh, girl, I used to know this chick. I mean straight up farted, though. No, I used to know I've this chick. I've never farted, Jordan. I don't know if I ever said this. I used to know this chick where we were sitting in class, and she had this bizarre talent to queef on command. Whoa. I'm not sure if I ever told the story. <laughs> but we were sitting in <laughs> sociology class, and we were sitting there, and she's like, she's like, you guys want to hear me queef? And we're like... <laughs> We're like, yeah. And then she went, <laughs> and we were like, whoa. Did she get a job in a window? She, she like, she was like, okay, I'm going to do it again. And she queefed again. And she's like, smell, it smells like chocolate chip cookies. And whoa. we smelled, it actually smelled like chocolate chip whoa. cookies. I love that you M &M went down hits. to go smell it. You were like, here, do it again, do it again. No, oh, she my did face. it up. She did like a horse queef in, my, in, her, in her fucking face. What? what? It, it smelled like chocolate chip. And not just chocolate, it smelled like I don't know if I could do like queef taste testing. You would have to because I can get a blindfold and just get It smelled like chocolate chip cookies with M&M bits. 
Like that is so that. specific. <laughs> so specific. A little burnt too. The cookies were okay, a little burnt. Okay, come on. Now, now you're getting a little. Do they have a warm? Do they have a warm, soft center? <laughs> Are you like saying I'm, I'm not allowed to have a sixth sense to t- t- tasting queef cookies? Sex in general is gross. <laughs> yeah. You ever just be like, oh, I'm so fucking horny, and then you get a girl on you, horny. Yeah. and you're like. Ugh, this is nasty. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like what what uh, Stamper said. He said like sex is supposed to be dirty and nasty, and you're supposed to just go all out. Look, right? I don't mind having dirty, nasty sex. The thing is, I am very smell oriented, and like you know, I pull down my pants, and I'm like, whoa, like yeah. a green cloud <laughs> wafts up into my face. You know, what I know you that's can do? disgusting. I you can't know have what sex. You can do? And the same thing happens sometimes with girls. You pull down do their you know undies, do? their cute little panties, and all of a sudden it's like the equivalent of a bowl of smell, just like. This uh, raging bowl just your charges your nostrils. Gross, do you know, Mick, do you know what you do? Okay, you take one of those... Um, Some Febreze? No, 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 no. Sh- you take <laughs> one of those, like, those fun size balloons. You get a, a Dollar General. You snip the edge of it. You stretch it up and put it over your head so what? you block your nose area. <laughs> And then, I'm being fucking serious. That way you can handle anything because technically you can't smell anything. You poke holes in it too if you need to see, but. What are you talking oh about? Oh my god. You can't blow up a fucking balloon and poke holes in it. Listen. <laughs> what? I, I, I am, me and my friends used to nigger rig so many things. Oh my things. god. Wait, 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 wait. What? Do I have to cut that out? That, no, we that's, can say that. that's, that's really. really or if you give context, maybe we can keep it and go on. Okay, yeah. I'm not trying to be racist uh, when I say it. So... It's just that the term like that would be like, like ghetto rigging stuff. Wait, like, are you talking about like worse. jerry rigging? When you yeah, but it's a new term. term. It's a new, it's the Compton term. <laughs> yeah, this seems like the really <laughs> racist term for it. <laughs> what? We used to call it MacGyvering back in the day. Yeah, it's called, it's called N-word rigging. So that's the new that's the new thing the well kids, anyway it's like all the kids yeah because we were outside now. and my friend's like man I need a barbecue and it's like we don't have a fucking grill so he's like hold on he finds um some wire tin he finds like some old cord thing and he just like sort of like wraps it around it and then he gets like this coal and stuff and he makes a fireplace a homemade fireplace made out of just shit laying around in his yard and I'm like what the fuck what'd you do he's like oh I just knew you were that <laughs> wow and it's just like a term. Like, it's, yeah. If you, Your friends are racist. For me. Like, when I used to <laughs> yeah, try and put things in my ass, if I had to compensate because I didn't go out and buy condoms, I'd just use bags with fucking rubber bands at the end. <laughs> Is that what the... I can barely feel shit with a condom on. I, with a fucking plastic bag <laughs> from Walmart. With the rubber bands. Yeah. Yeah. You kidding, no, Corey? It's it's, no, he's saying when he it, puts it's, stuff it's in his ass. It's one of those what? big pl- black bags that you... Yeah. That's a bin liner. If you, if you don't have condoms, look <laughs> for the look for a bag. It may be a little creaky. It may be a little noisy. Don't tell kids to do this. You big idiot. Corey, Corey. <laughs> this is wrong. You're going to have a million kids getting pregnant now because of you. Chris, Chris. <laughs> He's a good respectable I, I man. I have to know. Yeah. If you had to marry a woman. Oh. Okay. Yes. You have two choices, right? They're yeah. both standing right in front of you. Hmm. But you're going to have to marry one of these. There's no other option. Yeah. One of them has really long gorilla arms and tiny little baby legs. Whoa. And the other one has tiny little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms and really long... Torpedo titties. <laughs> and really long giraffe legs. Okay. You have to marry one. Which one? And these torpedo titties, the blue veins are fucking Corey, stanking. you shut man. up. This is not part of it. I'm Gorilla that- arm baby legs or T-Rex arm giraffe legs. Look, torpedo this, titties. This is actually quite a tough one, right? And you know what? They're actually identical twins. So they have the and, same face and the, and the gir- same butt. She has the strength. Of Jurassic legs. Okay, but so listen, can, this can, is the dilemma. She can crush baby dinosaurs' heads. <laughs> this is the dilemma. You ready? Both of them can't give good blowjobs. A big gorilla fist would rip your cock off. Little T Rex arm would barely feel anything. Okay, so that's already like a deal breaker. That's shit. Okay. I like blowjobs and. It doesn't off. matter what the deal breaker is. There has to be a deal. I have Make to a pick deal. It. Okay, well, I guess I'd be less afraid of the fucking long-legged idiot. <laughs> the fucking gorilla arm would be kind of scary. <laughs> She's got like short legs to be walking she's around like, with yeah. her other arms. She's, she's like, like, like Tommy Pickles baby legs. Like, she walks, she's like, like with inwards feet. She's like a fucking gorilla over there. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. She to always has to be on top because you have Donkey Kong hands. And right put next the fucking to your giraffe fucking leg lady. She could run over and kick you into the sky and kill you. I would probably go with the long legged lady. Yeah. Because she. She'd have the like little stupid arm. But <laughs> you like little baby you, you arms? You still fuck her. Is that what you like? You like her to touch you with her little baby arms? Just make your dick look you're bigger. Gross. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're pervert. No, that's you're, what, that's you're making me pick from dude two to four idiots. <laughs> it idiot. doesn't matter what you picked. You would have been a pervert. Oh, can I tell a story about today? Please. That reminds me. Um, <laughs> I was coming out of CVS pharmacy, and uh, guess what was at the front door? A chip lady? <laughs> no. Chick with okay, uh, imagine hands. 
imagine a freshly born chick, like a gross little like fetus, like veiny chicken, like chicken, chicken? chicken? Okay. mixed with a little boy, and that's what was there, right? Oh, no, and it was like, like a Girl Scout uh, cookie. Dude, I've heard of stuff like this. It, Do you know what it is? No, I, I was about to get to that. Right, this is the Hold this on, is, yeah. this was a conflict in my head. Oh right, my so you walk out. This lady walks up to you. She's like, "Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies?" You look over at the Girl Scout. There's a Girl Scout, and then there's the deformed little chicken boy. Chicken and, boy. and you're like, "What the fuck?" Right. So I was like thinking, "That's what you're okay." There's, there's, <laughs> No, no, I didn't say shit. I was like, I got no money because I didn't have any money, right? But this is what was going on in my head. I was like, so did they put that little chicken boy there to make me feel bad and give them money? Or did they bring along her little chicken brother because she's really nice sister? And I didn't know which one. It's you should have just asked. You should have yeah. just pointed yeah, right at the chicken boy and, and be said, like, what is up with this chicken boy? <laughs> yeah. like, what is feathers? this? This is, this is actually something that's true. I swear to God. No, no I, like, I it's really like think they put him there to make you feel bad. Fucking car and look now that you said you mentioned it, he didn't look at me and go, ah! <laughs> was he like Tim Fuckus? No, he was worse. I swear. No, I worse. don't want to be mean, but no. I swear. Helium boy, they, they found the John? most. They found the most deformed kid to put him there. I swear. You know what? They I've did? never seen anything like it. What? <laughs> I I'm not trying yeah, to be You mean. know what, I don't understand, like, if the Girl Scout was a chicken scout, like a chicken Girl Scout, that would kind of make sense a little this bit. This is what I'm- But it's so I'm, weird, like, buy my Girl Scout cookies, and buy my chicken, chicken boy, boy. Buy my chicken yeah. boy cookies. That, that is just, weird. Like, is this being mean? Like, I'm just trying to get my head That's around it. That's his job. Did they put a he little boy hired. there that's deformed specifically so I'd buy their cookies? No, yeah. no, the little boy was there. Or were they being really nice to him because they're great, like, mom and sister? No, or I, I, you know, I'm not trying to be cynical, but that sounds a little too yeah, I, I didn't, set up. I didn't think so. I was like- like, this is kind of fucked up. That's huh? really sad too, because it's like, it's like a, clearly the people that love him or take care of him are like totally taking advantage. That's of That's another too. thing. I was like, if I, def, if I had a deformed little boy, I'm not gonna like. Yeah. I, I would leave him home to play Xbox. Un unless you know what's actually he was the mastermind. Do you know? And the little chicken boy's oh. like, hey, hey, mom, you gotta take me yes. with Maggie to the store <laughs> because I'll just stand there and people throw money at me. Do you, do you know what's <laughs> fucked up? Realistically, around Christmas time, where that dude like shakes a bell and expects people to put money into a little <laughs> Santa. Thing. Claus? No. Not, no, no. The, oh. the, 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 Jesus, Mick. What's that called? Where they like, it's they, the, the Salvation Irish. Army. Yeah. Yeah. If they had some like person with elephantitis doing that, yeah. you would think people would take second glances and then when they actually see that this is a man with elephantitis, they would. Don't mm -hmm. I, you know, I feel like it's hit or miss because half the people are going to feel guilty and want to give them stuff and the other half are just going to be like, ah, and run away. Like, <laughs> I feel like, like it's wanna... different though if you're just like some dude shaking a bell in people's faces when they yeah. walk by or if you're like a guy with like, elephantitis. Like people may turn and run or they'll go. Grocery run. stores do this really cheap tactic, right? Where you, you get to the bagging area and then they have a charity and they're like, I'll bag your bag for you for free. Yeah, that's mainly in Ireland, like, yeah. You're like, fuck off. All yeah. you want is money. Get out of here. I don't want you to guilt me into giving you free that money. Happens, you know what? The other, other thing pisses me off so bad. The other thing is like, Let's say there's a long line of people behind you, yeah. and you're buying like let's say a, a pack of cigarettes and a bottle of Jack. You yeah. know what I mean? I, so you're, yeah. you know, clearly you have money to engage in bad habits, and they ask you for a dollar for you know cancer for kids, and there's eight people behind you, and you're like. No. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. what are you supposed to say? It's no, so no. fucked up. It's one thing if I'm going to a place, like you say, like, to buy, like, a fucking pack of cigarettes and brandy yeah. and just, like... But it's another thing when you go to a place and you're going to a fucking fast food place, like yeah. Burger King or McDonald's, or you're just getting some quick food and then they're like, would you like to donate a dollar? It's like, can you really not yeah, tell are made to say that. They don't You know what is smart, though, is what I'm trying... The point I'm trying to make. What is smart is what Wawa does. They have a bucket I, on the table. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. After you order, like, after you give them money, the money goes to this little area thing, and then you see this thing right here. You're just like, oh, I don't want to carry change in my fucking pocket. Yeah. So you just that's drop genius. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is actually really smart. And you what, know what? I, I don't mind that at all. I don't either. And I usually do that. It's like, that would be way easier. Instead of saying, like, here, donate. There's people who are dying. You just bought a dollar cheeseburger. It's just like, let me have the you option. Know, it's interesting, because the difference between somebody asking you for money and then you feeling like you got robbed, yeah. Yeah. Versus you just being like, yeah, I think I'm gonna do something good today. Yeah. There's a difference in how you feel when you give that money. Exactly. Nobody likes like... carrying around change. It's, it's a genius concept. Yeah. Just fucking throw it in, you're done. Yeah. And you save the world. That's true. Everybody, give your change. By the to way, the please donate boys. to our Patreon. Uh, to the Chicken Boys and to the, our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, every time you like put your change in one of those little buckets, you feel like you're a great person. You're just like, but how would you, you feel? You look at the cash. Yeah, but like, how would you feel yeah. if like it had a fan for every time you threw it in, so everyone was doing it and it became like the coolest thing? You wouldn't feel very good donating to it, would you, Nile? Yeah, you big idiot. Yeah, I'd fucking do it every day, Corey. <laughs> you asshole. Do you know what I think? Do you know what I think? Uh, that chicken boy was there for. 
I think he was there to sell his own chicken boy cookies and like, <laughs> yeah, you didn't ask. Scout. You were getting snickerdoodles. Yeah. You didn't ask for chicken yeah, boy. Yeah, you know what? Man. That yeah, that Girl Scout actually stole his cookies and shoved them into the gutter. Yeah, and like, go away. Little chicken boy <laughs> was <laughs> held <laughs> by his own will. He could have broken free if we would have bought his chicken cookies. It was really weird, like because there was a subway across the street. So when I sat down to eat a subway, I was just looking over at him. And he was just like running around, and like the mom was like grabbing him and like bringing him back over. She had like a leash on him. I, I was kind of like, look, all I'm saying is, if I was a retired chicken, I would just want to stay at home play Xbox. That's all. I want. <laughs> You wouldn't want to be dragged out to the store. If I was a retired chicken, I would go on Xbox Live and scream at people at the top of my lungs. <laughs> so, uh, I had mentioned to Chris before, I thought you guys were all uh, a bunch of uh, hot, sexy, young GQ Romeos. Uh, because every time we go out, we're always flocked by girls, and they always walk What's right GQ? by me, Jerry and they, they turn their noses up, and then they walk right Mick. into your guys' arms. You're a big ultra Mick. bullshitter. Wait, what? what are you talking What's about, GQ, Mick? Jerry Curl? You know what? I hate you. So, <laughs> is that what it is? my question was, what is the dumbest thing that you've ever done for a girl? Like, you would have never, ever, in your life, ever thought about doing this, and you even hated doing it when you did it, but you did it, and you did it for a girl. Either because you had feelings for her, or because you wanted to have feelings in her. Mm, that's a... <laughs> I've won. Yeah, All right, I, figure, I figured at least now, considering your past... Tinder escapades that you would have at least a handful of these stories. Well, it's not what you think. I, I once worked at a supermarket f for eight months for a girl so I could like live with her. Did she ask you to? No, but I needed to support myself, and I did. Like, if I didn't live with her, I could have went back home and lived there. Um, pretty much gave up my whole fucking life. <laughs> oh no, no, I was gonna say after you worked there, did you did you guys split up or what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For like eight months. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm way so better. I'm way better at doing that shit now. Like when I was on a, a date recently, the chick brought me into Victoria's Secret. Why do they always fucking do that? No matter yeah. when you're with a girl, they always bring it to Victoria's Secret. It's the first time I met this girl. Yeah. Brought me in there. I go, oh, that hand lotion smells nice because I remember seeing that. No, hand I'm lotion. not in a situation like that. Where I, I walk into Victoria's Secret and they're like, well, I want that like I know. Uh, really <laughs> expensive. Gown over there. And I was and I was like, uh, well, that's not what Victoria's Secret's for. But I was like, oh, that, that smells like she goes, hey, buy me some. I was like, no. <laughs> like, now, now I'm so much better. That's why she brought you in there. Yeah. Oh, she just brought oh, you fuck. into the store so you buy her oh, something. Fuck, fuck, um, yeah. yeah, that's fucked up. It's yeah. just like like a uh, nightwear and lingerie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she goes I don't know in. Why. I, th I was thinking of something. She else. goes in. She finds the most expensive, sexy underwear. Tries it on. Shows it to you. Flashes you a little leg. And then she's like, you like this? And you're like, yeah, baby. And she's like, all right. I was like, yeah, credit I, card? <laughs> not enough to buy it for you. That's what I was like. I was yeah, so I've gotten better at that. Like, I used to be a little bitch. I was never in this situation. You've never been, like, one time uh, I went back to Seattle uh, over the summer, and there was this girl, and um, apparently she was really into this. I didn't find this out until later. Yeah. Do you know what a colonic is? Yeah. No. She right. loved getting them? She she would get them. It doesn't seem like something Yo, you get addicted to. Several what times a month. What does that mean? It's when. Okay, so basically what it is is you you lie down on this little bed thing. Yeah. And they take a plastic tube and they shove it up your butthole. Oh. And then they fill your entire intestinal cavity with water. Okay. Like they just pump you full of water. Well, that's yeah. an enema. And, hold on. Yeah, well, it's kind of like that, except it's literally your entire intestines. And then they, you gotta hold it, right? You gotta hold it for a little bit. Yeah. And the whole time, you feel like you're gonna shit yourself. And they're like, don't worry, don't worry, that's totally normal. You, you're gonna feel like you wanna poop because there's like blockage in your intestines. All it is is when the water hits that wall, just let it happen. Don't try to poop this tube out. Just let it work its magic and it'll shut, it'll break through the wall. And then all of a sudden it'll, it'll fill up more of your intestines. Then when they're done, when you're totally full of water, yeah. They suck it all out. And there's this machine. So all the water that was in your intestines comes pouring out or being sucked out through this tube. And then you can see all the stuff because it's like a clear tube. Yeah, so you can gross. see everything that was in your intestines. Disgusting. So you can see all of like this intestinal plaque. You see all these little uh, turd nuggets. You see, it literally looks like one of the levels from Battletoads. <laughs> like, and there's just like all this goo and well, shit. Did she have like a, could you see a reflection in her butthole? Was it that clean? I never actually looked at her butthole. Oh really? I wasn't really into butts during that period of time. That, that also ruins the later. magic for me. Cause like anytime I see a hot girl, I always think like, Oh, there's a big old turd sliding around her intestines. <laughs> and then Somewhere. Like, yeah, but if that chick, I guess No, not. she was clean she as whistle. Why do you think of that? Why do you, why I don't do you know. It's, why do you think... Because it's funny. 
I don't know. I just think it just comes in my head. I know it's not funny. It just pops in my head. It's just fucking stupid shit. When I when I see a picture of like a fucking famous like like chick like she's like starring on like the red carpet, I'm like she's gonna poop later. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Same same thing. Dude, I was telling Zach in New York when I was walking around. uh, You know, everyone's very fashionable, and there's a lot of you know what I always think. You know what I think. What I'm thinking. I'm thinking if she has a bleach butt. She has one of those brown holes. Yeah. Or, oh, the the, the brown the browns are the pinks. Yep. What are you, Corey? I don't care. But no, what are you? I'm probably dirty. You're dirty you're, brown. You're dirty black. You're, you're oh. Dirty black. <laughs> <laughs> Just slightly off. The I'm color. team dirty black. <laughs> I think we're officially getting to the too much information. Okay. No, 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 no. It's not a bad thing. I just don't. Guys, think we've I ever, have a dirty We've, we've never gotten this far before. It. Where we're gonna get way up inside of ourselves and mm-hmm. share it with Guys, the world. I have a dirty butthole with hair on it. If you can see it, this is the equivalent of us literally putting a webcam right up to our butts and spraying our cheeks as far as we can. Oh, you know what I used to do when I was younger? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, not that. Not, <laughs> no. Do you remember Burnout Paradise? It was a game for Xbox 360 and PS3. Okay. They, they, they made the game. They designed it so that when someone online takes you out, like they smash your car into your car and you, you explode, yeah. they get a picture of your face going like, Oh no, you killed me! <laughs> but me and my friend Jack, we used to like spread our butts up into the camera. <laughs> and then they take, they take us out and just get like a picture of our asses. Or it was so fucked up. I don't know what it was about asses dude, when that I was, was a kid. Like, Everyone used to moon dude, people when I was a kid. That, that was like what, a thing. It's funny. It's like you, you have to wonder how these fucking people at Microsoft these idiots who inquire these uh, webcam things, yeah. they have these online things, so like, people aren't gonna abuse this stuff, <laughs> yeah, people right. aren't gonna play fucking Uno with a bunch of million anonymous people, and you're not gonna get these guys fucking <laughs> little kids playing fucking yeah, Uno. It's, it's gonna be families sitting around the table choking their leaders yeah, yeah, at the camera. It, I never understood that. I never understood they make these fucking like, webcam <laughs> games, and they don't think people are gonna abuse it, because let's face it, if you allow somebody, it's like with, with uh, Dark Souls, originally when people were doing Dark Souls, they were doing like horrible names. Like they were trying to do as vulgar as possible, and they're trying to get it get away through the sensors. Yeah. Some of the people are always yeah, gonna try you know what, to those do. images I feel like get burned into your psyche. Like when I was a kid, uh, when I was in high school, I went back to Seattle for one year, and I remember I was with this group of guys, and it was just because some of the guys in this group were friends that I hung out with when I was a kid before I left Washington. Yeah. So I, I remember we'd go out, and I felt so terrible about it. I mean, besides TPing this one girl's house, whose uh, father was actually in the hospital with cancer I found out later like yeah. the worst the thought of like the mom and, and her having to go out and clean up they had a big yard too just like cleaning up toilet paper and like their dad was in the hot I like never ever ever wanted to TP a house after that anyways but this one thing they would do they would go around and moon people randomly on the sidewalks but they wouldn't just moon people basically you know you're at a stoplight and so or someone's trying to do a crosswalk and they've got the hand and they've got to stand there and wait that means that when you come up to the red light, they, you know, they're right to your side. They can see you. Yeah. And what they would do is they'd be like, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir, do you have the time? And they would look down at their watches because no one had smartphones at the time. They'd look down at their watch and then all of a sudden one of them would get up and they'd stick their ass as far as they could out of the window and spread their butt cheeks. <laughs> so when the person looked back up from the watch, they'd be staring right into the guy's <laughs> ass and then we'd drive off laughing. But I would just, but in retrospect, I just imagine like that was burned into their mind. Like looking directly into this teenage you, boy's butthole. You never know what he could like. Like you, were, you were driving off, but he could have been like coming in his pants. That's true too. <laughs> you know, like what is this? And by the time he figured it out, very we, ugly. Were, oh, we were gone in a cloud like of smoke. Cyclops or something. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, the first thing you see is just it's like, like I saw this butt. deformed like... kid's face. <laughs> <laughs> he had one eye and it was squinting at me. <laughs> he was sticking his tongue out. <laughs> Wait, you know what I just realized? You you were talking about attention about girls and then we just totally went off I'm just saying you know there's really fashionable beautiful women in New York and they're walking along and they got these big high heels on and they're like wearing like this really great outfit and all of a sudden they got a really sexy walk and then they just fucking face plant I saw one woman do this she was she was she was when I saw her from across the street, I was like, whoa. Then all of a sudden I was like, wow! Cause she fucking like, and, and I was, we were talking about humanizing these people. Like when you see like these really gorgeous people, sometimes it, it's like, they're almost not human. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they're yeah. like above Rep, human. Re- or, reptoids. Right, or the, right, exactly. They're like magazine covers. 
and, but when you see them do something human or when you think about them like taking a shit or something like that it humanizes them uh, but watching somebody face plant really humanizes them yeah. and it wasn't even her like literally face planting it was everything that led up to that her <laughs> legs like bent backwards and were kind of like just going in circles like little helicopters going in opposite directions and then she face planted but it was Jesus. that awkwardness of that whole thing oh my God. and then like nobody helped her up I everyone just got kept walking I used to like always fire laugh because like like clockwork in Ireland like the girls will get all dull dolled up and go out at nighttime so like you could just if you're just sitting in the car and you're looking out the window you're like bound to see some girl who thinks she's the hottest shit ever yeah. just like fucking fall oh yeah everywhere. not only that especially when they're drunk Dude. like you know exactly. you'll see like girls like all decked up and and you know dressed really nice and then like they just like puke all over themselves yeah. or something like that <laughs> do we ever no absolutely do we ever tell you what me and now used to do when everyone got drunk at the weekends in ireland no so we used to live in the main street of wexford which is the main town yeah yeah so like at, right near the club at 2 a.m every thursday friday and saturday night people would be coming home like fucking tons and tons of people every yeah. night right so yeah. We see lots of fights, lots of girl, girls fall on their faces and shit. Yeah. But one time, uh, I was coming home from America and I bought a Brookstone projector from the airport. It's just like a little 720p projector. Yeah, yeah. mini projector. But um, we hooked it up to Niall's computer and we got a picture of uh, the Virgin Mary off of Google. <laughs> And we shined it on the building no, across Chris, the street. Chris after effects it to be like creepy and move yeah, like slowly. She like slightly moved a bit. So she's like breathing up and down and there's like particles coming out. Of it looked really good. Yeah. But we used to shine it on the building across from us and we'd find like like lone girls walking home at nighttime. So all, yeah. like there's not a single light on the street on. <laughs> We, we just shine this projector at the window, and so they, they, just, they, they look over, and the second they look over, you put your hand over the projector. So just, oh, so, so she disappears. disappears the second they yeah, see Yeah, so they look at it, so and they're, they're like, like ah! what the yeah, fuck? they don't know what the fuck they saw. Remember, Chris, do you remember the time when uh, there, was the, there were these girls walking by, and we did it, and they all saw it, and they were like, ah! Yeah, they and then they out. ran to their car, yeah. and then the car like the car came back, and it like and it stopped, stopped it, and they were like, "Yeah, this is where it was." And then we just did it again. They're like, "Ah!" And they just drove they just off. Like, and like, hey! <laughs> they just, like fucking but shat themselves. The actual best one though was when uh, there was this guy right, and he was with a girl, and there was this corner right across from our flat where there was always people fucking down there, like always, right? Like, <laughs> but this one night, a guy was walking with his girl, and they, they both sat in the corner for no reason. He yeah. started fingering her and sucking on her titties or whatever. Yeah. So then we were just like, "Get the exorcist face." <laughs> <laughs> fucking got this scary extra face. We shut it on the wall. So the guys there like sucking on her titty or whatever. And she looks up and she's like, ah! <laughs> It was at the angle so only she could see it. So, yeah. he, so yeah. he was like, he probably met her that night at the fucking yeah. club. He probably thought she was having the he weirdest met her at orgasm <laughs> ever. She's like, oh my God, I'm doing it right. And she's like, like ah! No, he's like, I'm good, no, baby, I'm good. <laughs> but what happened was, he was like, she, she looks up, she sees the fucking scary exorcist face, she screams, we cover it. And he's like, what the fuck? And she's like, uh, I saw, uh, never mind. And yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, whatever. He starts fingering her again. We, we did it again. She's like, ah! And he's, like, <laughs> he's just like, what? And he's, <laughs> Eventually, they got up and left, but like that lasted about I, an hour. I, I, well, I thought it was going to get like all like really sad and stuff. Like you just started smacking her and you guys no. felt really terrible <laughs> no. about starting a domestic no. dispute. We just used to scare the fuck. It was just a simple little projector. It wasn't even that good. It was, it was actually more so the fact that it was it was such a bad projector that you just got the faint image so right. it wasn't too obviously a projector it was more so like you could definitely imagine these people seeing it and being like was that my brain that just right because it was so faint on the wall you know i feel so like that's, that faint though that's like one of the biggest problems i think with horror films nowadays is that they're so clean and yeah. they're shot so well yeah that like it's what was so awesome about the old ones was that it was kind of grittier yeah and like your your imagination had to fill in the blanks exactly know? and like with these nice ones it's like oh you know they're more grotesque deaths yeah but they're so clean like the visuals are so clean that yeah, you see everything and it doesn't look real or it doesn't matter yeah yeah fuck that these bitches the second they see the virgin mary you cover it with your projector so yeah. they're like it was one frame you know it was you one know frame telling of... the story is going to cause so many car accidents <laughs> like some kids going to go out and do this and people are going to be driving into <laughs> telephone poles and shit uh, <laughs> but you know what else made it creepier to them though the people who saw it and believed it was like the virgin mary okay so they saw the virgin mary and they're fucked they're scared now right but for the people who, who knew it was projector they're like there's some creepy fucking bastard that yeah pointing the projector that's even like, almost scarier yeah, like yeah. the idea people... that someone was watching that. Yeah. So, no, but some, some people like sometimes like we do it, and then a guy would just go and just like like yeah, he'd look right, up, right yeah. up at the exact second like, we, like and we'd shit our pants. Yo, did I ever tell you that one time? I used to have a green laser pointer, and I'd stay up till like four in the morning, like shining down the street of people. But one time. <laughs> What? No, sorry. One time, okay, so we were surrounded by other flats, right? One yeah. night, I just got the pointer and I pointed it into every single flat window for like probably 10 second bursts, right? Just to see what happened and nothing happened. I was like, all right. I went to bed and then I fucking woke up and just heard like, 
And I was just like, what the fuck? And I barely just pulled up my blind a little bit. There was this fucking massive, muscly, like, Russian old man. And he was just like, I know you're up there! And I was just like, oh god, I hope he doesn't know which one it was. I want to know what he thought you did. Like, what happened? Though? All I was doing was pointing a big green light, like, laser into his window. Yeah, but something <laughs> must have happened. It might have yeah. hit him right in the eye, or it might have, like, <laughs> it probably or it, caught, it was like a chain of events. Like, it, it like, you know, yeah, caused, yeah. like, this whole he he was was devastating. He was chain. like, he was yeah, probably jacking off in the yeah. minute. Like, like, or, or then it did, like, hit all those fucking mirrors and then it got into his eye, and then he was like, oh, and then he jerked off and it sprayed up in his face, and then he tripped. Backwards. Well, I was gonna say maybe it was in his like little toddler who was scared of monsters' bedroom. He had a but, yeah. CD looking at the window. He would have smashed down my door and killed me. He was fucking scary, and he looked like that guy from Do you ever see Dennis the Menace, the live action movie? Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he looked like Christopher Lloyd, the bum in that movie. It was fucking scary. He was Christopher Lloyd is like the least threatening guy. No, but in that movie, he's scary. I have a question. Yeah, and I don't know. It, it's very, it's very random. Oh, okay. Ooh. Have you guys ever eaten your own cum? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't start. Well, Zach's not here. No. Wait, no. wait. I'm not, and this isn't a gay dispute. This I'm is going like to be the third serious. podcast. All right, yeah, you know what? We can't go on about it. I'll let's say this. I have, this. I have tasted no. it. I have not no. eaten it. Uh, no, I've tasted it. Okay, no, no, no there's no, a difference. No, listen, listen, I wasn't listen. just like gobbling a whole fucking cup. Listen, of listen. I, I just kind of like, you know, put my tongue. Listen. Like, eh. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm not talking. This isn't a gay dispute. This isn't if you're fucking gay or if you want to blow guys. This is just a legitimate. Okay, have you just answered the question? Right, listen, Corey. Yes, I have. I have, I have tried. I have. I have t stuck. I have just barely dabbed my tongue. He's dabbled in it. Corey. Just a okay. tiny he, little. He drank it with a I have it. No, I. I have Corey in my entire you life. You blowing bubbles. The only thing I've ever. <laughs> of all the gross shit I've done, I've probably only tasted pre cum. Well, well, Corey. Yeah. Well, me. Yeah. Uh, Which is what I'm gonna, gonna say. Me I know too. Now you're gonna say me too. No. no. Well, I've only said. I've, like we. You said that this is. You said this isn't gonna be a gay dispute. But no, it's not Zach, a gay dispute. Yeah, it's not. It's not. But if Zach was here, see, he'd be like, it is because. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't know, matter what he would say. Exactly. But I'm just trying to say like that why he's wrong. But anyway. Oh my God! You just oh my so God. weaseled yourself into that dispute. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I'm just like I'm no, gonna keep I that have... in just so everyone knows what a weasel you yeah. are. We're off that topic. Just answer the goddamn Listen, question. All right, all right, all right. I pussied my way into that God. one. Right? But okay, so the thing is, I jack off and I'm like, I'm gonna. Uh, you're like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then the second you come, you're like, exactly. oh god, that's disgusting. That's what, yeah. Dude, I'm the same way. Exactly. And I do it, and I'm like, oh, because it feels good. Then you're like. Where's the thing? See, Mick, yeah, clean myself like, up. Yeah, yeah, you know that whole. Uh, but you, you almost want to, like you, but yeah. you won't do it. Yeah. Why do Mick, you? Why won't yeah. do it? Why do people want to do that? That entire dispute you had with Stamper and Zach, right? Uh, okay. There's, there's a point where you get so horny. Yeah. You're like, I'm gonna do something horribly dirty. I'm gonna drink all of my cum, right? That's right. It, yeah. And you aim your dick up in your mat, right? But then you're like, no, 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 I won't do that. I'll just come on my hand and then I'll eat it when, when I'm done. But then I the tried... second you come, you, you hold it up and you're like, oh, ugh, and you yeah. put it away. Chris, That's true. I tried to like. Aim and come into my mouth, but the, <laughs> the farthest I got was like the middle of my chest. I think like, you dodged. You literally dodged that bullet. I was okay. I also because you were looking down like also, oh thank God. Also, oh, I almost did. Also, you have to train yourself. To train yourself. Also, uh? I was edging to try and have a little push behind my penis. So I was like, all right, I'm edging now. So I'm really building it up. So you timed and your thrust. Uh, should it still you just know, sort honestly, of like shot you, up I don't think any of you really tried because the really easy way to do it is you get in like a sit up position with your legs on the bed and your back on the floor. And then what it's you do is you easy. flex your ass a little bit. So yeah. so it's basically like there's no way you're going to miss. In fact, you should that. close your eyes because you're probably going to hit yourself in the face. I don't Wait, do you, that. Get for, you get further range when you flex your ass? No, I'm saying that if you have literally, if you're in a sit up position and you've got your legs on top of the bed and you're flexing your ass, you know, like you're. Oh, uh, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. Because then it shoots higher up and then kind of. No, do it that. shoots down directly in oh, your fucking. Well, my, well, my dick doesn't Mick, point I don't that do way. that. I've never done I, that. I'm just before. saying, if you were in the. Uh, this is what I do. Honestly, trying to get it in your I, like, mouth, that's like, how you would do it. I try to, like, get comfortable because it's like you kind of, like, got to get into the mood. But I never, like, go, like. You, like, you, fucking, you, like, a you never, You never jack off upside down? I don't like. I don't None do of you guys have ever jacked off upside down? No. Dude, you get blood rushing to your head. It's I'm almost gonna try like that. I'm gonna uh, fucking try that. asphyxiation a little yeah. bit, but it's not as bad where you're like choking yourself or something. But if you're if you're jacking off with your head over the bed, like you know, if if you've got your your back to the bed and your head's kind of down, the blood rushes to your head, and it feels better. Well, it, you know what? I'm cutting all this. <laughs> I'm doing no, that when no. I get back, and then and then I'm gonna practice. Everyone's gonna think later. I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> What's someone was fucking a girl in her ass? I came in her ass. In her yeah. butt? She Wait. farted it out. She said, this is comfortable. <laughs> Was it bubbly? And then, yes. and then, and then you, you ate it? 
Yes. Oh. And you were like, this is comfort food? <laughs> <laughs> Generally, uh, when you sneeze, do you also find yourself farting as well? Well, that's because <laughs> I have because because when you sneeze, it it, it uh, contracts your uh, bowels. Like, yeah, right yeah. Under there. But have you ever been afraid that you may actually like shit yourself? Yeah. If you have like severe, like sometimes when you're sick, you do kind of have the squirts going that on. That happened to me, dude. Yeah. yeah, and then you're also like sick, so yeah. you have like sneeze and, and sniffles and all that. And so yeah, that I mean, I I think I may have like squirted a little a little sharp. I'm always too, terrified, like when I'm sneezing and I'm like, I'm always like, oh, I don't even to me I don't know how couch. forceful it was. Oh, 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 cool. oh, actually, I think Zach was saying that. Yeah, it happened to me right on that couch. Yeah, right where Corey's sitting, right? Right where Corey, you're 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 sitting. sitting. Chris's shit. No, he said what you're saying. No, yeah, you're sitting on my green. No! You're wallowing in his green turds. Yeah. <laughs> no, I shat in my pants and I wallowed to the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, today? No, it was, fucking Chris it was like free assing ago. everywhere. Oh, waddled to the green. Zach like spoon fed me like gross sardines. He's like, tastes just tastes good. Actually, like, the <laughs> only time I don't know if I said this before, but the only time I ever actually shit in my pants, uh -oh. like like full blown. Yeah, like actually shit myself. Because it was coming up the I, back. I, I feel like there's a situations in everyone's life that at some point in their life they are gonna shit themselves. Not when they're old, like old men who don't know like the fucking the time of day is, but like. You're just gonna be something's gonna happen. You're in a situation where you right. can't help it, and you're going to shit yourself. You're shit yeah. yourself. That happened to me uh, when I went with my father to Aldi's. Oh, um, Aldi's, yeah. Uh, I needed to go to the bathroom really bad. Yeah. And when I went there, I I sort of had the idea that there would have, be a bathroom there because it's fucking Aldi's. Right. There wasn't a bathroom there, so I was there, and I'm like, I'm gonna shit my pants. Like I was already like wincing and stuff, and really, you know, they have a bathroom. They didn't because the employees have to use the bathroom. They, they didn't have a bathroom, not in this Aldi. Well, they had to for the employees, but they didn't let customers in there. Yeah, that is so. They're it, like, you're just gonna stand. It was restricted in the aisle and yeah. so shit. He he would in like in Aldi's, you also have to pack your own <clears> stuff, so you kind of go to an area to like pack your stuff. So while I was doing that, I shit my pants. What fucking supermarket is this? It's Aldi's. I like to pack my own groceries. But I, I would. Sweet. But that's my situation of where I've shit myself. What about you guys? Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So what happened? You shat yourself and then what? My dad grounded me. Dick. Yeah. Like you already shit yourself. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. insult to injury. Yeah, he took like, away my Super Nintendo. That's what, what? he did. One time, yeah, I shit myself <laughs> and I told him like I'm like Dad, I can't help it. There's no bathroom. I've never actually sh shat myself in 34 years. I've never shat myself. I came so fucking. Are you? Close. But I have pissed myself a few times. Okay. Um, and one time it was because it, this is when I was a little I kid. Pissed myself. My grandma, uh, my grandma raised me, but she she went out to lunch with uh, one of her girlfriends. And she took me to a supermarket because they had an arcade. They had like three or four games. I think it was like a Galaga game or something that I was playing. It was it was old. Anyways, so they gave me a whole bunch of quarters and I was playing. I, I got so far in this game and I had to pee so bad. But I didn't want to stop playing because I, I'd never gotten this far and I was kicking ass and there was no signs of me dying. Like I was on a fucking roll. And I remember just standing there being like, Fuck this. And I just pissed myself. And I was wearing shorts too. So it was very clear what happened. And I'm sitting there with like these wet shorts and like people walking by watching this fat Chinese kid playing Galaga. And and but but I recall like later on thinking back on that and and it was kind of the first signs of like I knew that I would become like a workaholic. Like I knew that I would have the attention span yeah. and I would have the will and the drive. When I was like, with my uh, father, I never thought because I, I myself, I, I'm somewhat of a work person. I, I love, yeah. I work every day. I have no problem. Oh with it. yeah, I love to work. Um, I never thought I would because with my dad, he always found like uh, grunt work to do around the house. He would always like he would buy like a, a fucking bus and he'd be like, "We're gonna fix this up." He would spend like fifteen grand on a bus and he or uh, fifteen hundred on a bus and he'd be like, "We're gonna fix it up," and it's like broken and stuff. Yeah. I was like, I'm never gonna be into this stuff. I'm never gonna want to have to work and do shit every day. But you just find stuff for you to do. So you like buy a bus brand new and then you take a crowbar to it and yeah. be like. Fix it. Yeah, he'd fucking bash out the window, so he'd be like... <laughs> and then he'd put a bomb to your neck and be like, you got an hour to fix this, go. Niall, talk about shit already. Come on, talk, come on. Uh, fine! <laughs> well, I was working in a supermarket, and I was like literally about to get fired. It was the same supermarket that I was talking about you earlier. You shit yourself to just to spite them. No, but literally like on the You're way... You're fired! <laughs> literally on the way I in, quit. I was like... I was literally on the way in, I was like, alright. <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. I didn't, mean, sorry. I didn't mean to I'm cut sorry. you off. I didn't mean to cut I'm you off. I'm sorry, that just... <laughs> Literally on the way in, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to last the day here. And, and I, I was on the verge of being fired anyway, so I, uh, got on my cat- I got on my register, and li and, from, and then the fucking- this, the hottest girl in the whole shop, like, uh, she goes, Do you want me to bag for you? you I was, she's like, do you want me to bag for you? I was like, 
oh, for fuck's sake. And I was like, yeah, yeah, go go for it. And then I was like, I, I feel sick. And she was like, you should tell somebody. And I was like, I'm telling feel, you, bitch. I was like, I feel really sick. And, and then I, I told I told like the Indian manager when he walked by. And, he go, and I was like, I need to go to the bathroom. I feel really sick. And then the hottest girl was like, eh. And then I was like, ran to the bathroom. And I can't shit in public toilets. I've heard this. Yeah. No, that you can't shit in public toilets. Dude, before you go into the story, I'm the same way. When I go into a public bathroom, and I know it's like you go into a guy's bathroom, it's just like you you try to restrain your, your like... You don't want to fart too loud, yeah. or you feel self-conscious. I, I find it helps though when you hear like other guys come. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But no, but as soon as they break the seal, yeah. it's like, hey guys, let's do it. It's no, a party. This yeah, what it's like, it's like you, you sit down. Guys here. Okay, this is what always happens, right? You walk into this guy pissing, you're like, I, yeah. I, can't, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Then, yeah. another, then another big fat idiot walks in, he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're exactly. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I really around. do. I really do feel it. I need yeah. a guy to break the wind before I can break the wind. Then he masks the sound of yours. So the trick though, the trick though is just to flush. Flush and go with the flush. Actually, the best thing to do is to scream. really do it. Scream. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I've best, never done it, so I'm actually no, no. Here. The best thing to do this is a this is a uh, uh, what do you call it? A life hack. When you go to a public bathroom and you really need to shit, restrain yourself until the person goes up to wash his hands and turns on the water, oh. and then fucking blast your ass it's all right. over the toilet because the the fucking tss, you go. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes they don't wipe, and you just wait for that door to go. <laughs> then you just shit. I have a terrible habit of when people make loud noises, like if they have like really painful sounding farts like, like, you know, it's like really like you know sharp like needles are shooting out of their butt I always I always You're make a sound parts. no I, it's not wet it's like I mean it sounds like they're shooting like, like granite out of their yeah it's like yeah it's like like sandpaper oh, like yeah. glass or I some shit I never understood that so when, someone sits down and goes yeah. And anytime that happens, I always just out of a reaction will make a reactionary sound. I'll always be like, ooh. And I, they must be like so like self-conscious. Like, ow. Or something. I always do make a sound. So anyways, Niall, you've got a shit. You've told the girl, hey, I gotta go. My stomach's grumbling. Yeah, the Indian yeah. dude's like, go take a shit. And then what? you're you're walking up to the... To Waddling this, up. Right, to the public toilet and... Uh, okay, and I... Ran on into the thing and went, Wah! but I still actually, but I, I, I saw <laughs> like a coaster. roller coaster. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, All but right. the thing is, I still had anxiety. I still couldn't do it. I was like, no! So your no. hands are up in the air. Your legs so your are ass, spread. Your ass is ready. I was ready. I your ass is like, no. this. The shit's around the front confused. lines, ready to be fucking, uh, just to be. But your butthole was war. clenched. And it just wouldn't come out. It was confused. It was like doing. However, if somebody punched you in the stomach. The weirdest thing is, I would have easily been able to shit my pants when I was standing there, but All I right. wasn't able to shit no. in the toilet. Yep. And then the girl walks in and you fucking let it go because that, oh my that's God. what you need. That's probably what happened. So I just so I was like, I, I I need to go. I don't care. And I like just left the vacated the premises and I call I called um, my friend to pick me up. I was like, please pick me up. And then like and then, <laughs> and then waiting for like her to pick me up was the like longest 15 minutes of my entire life because I was like ah <laughs> was, like standing around and I was trying to walk so I I was trying to walk just to like not like you if I stood should, still yeah. I know like my want, something in my body would be like want to move. I was you trying to take my need. body into thinking it's moving. So I was like all right, here we go. And then when I was waiting and then and then like I wa I walked into her house and I was like, I'm having a shower because I didn't want to tell her I was sh like shitting. Right. I turned on the shower and was like, <laughs> Wait, you can shit in somebody else's no, shower. I lived, I lived in that. But house. you, wait, you I can lived, shit in the shower, but you can't. No, shit in it's so weird. No, it wasn't in the shower. I turned on the shower to oh, mess. Oh, I do the same the thing. I do the same thing. It's now a habit of mine. I Anytime I go into a bathroom, yeah. yes, I turn on the water. Yeah, yeah I always know. just in case. Chris, I have when you lock the door upstairs, sounds. when you lock the door upstairs and the tap is running for like 20 minutes, I'm like. Yeah, I know. The only, I, no, the only time I ever turn and I'll turn on a shower. The only time I do that is if I'm gonna puke, because I don't want, especially at a party. I have in people's homes turned on their showers, locked the door so I can puke in their toilet, and I will actually clean the bathroom. Like it'll be cleaner when I leave, you know what I mean, than what it was when I went in. And yeah, that's yeah. how you know I puked because you know I've like sprayed all the the. Can you please puke fresh in our bathroom? Scent. What's that? Can you please pick. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I um. Please. I told uh, I told Lexi that trick, like in, to to mask yourself if yeah. you're going at it. It's like just turn the water on, and yeah. if it's not loud enough, just fucking blast it and turn on the other faucet to make yeah. it Yeah. Oh, just turn all, all, all the water. Turn it all on. Just but, blast it. Like I like it, it's the weirdest part. It's like weird psychology thing for nervous poors like myself. <laughs> nervous um, poors. Are you it's like, coining that? What like yeah. the day I moved into like it's NPS. It's like, nervous I went, syndrome. Just say just say I went over Could to be visit button, nervous. Not ninja. 
ninja party sex. But yeah. it's like, I, I, like in April, I came over to America with Chris to visit like Zach and Stamper and all those guys. Like I wasn't able to shit that whole thing, and I was here for ten days, and I was like, oh my god, I was like really sick. And then this, and then I moved back, and I lived with Stamper. But the second that was like my house, I was like. I was able to do it. It's yeah. weird. It's like a GTA Miles, save file. Trick. It's like the second it's it, your house. No, it's I am so much more comfortable in my own home because most of the time I have a setup. Like in order for me to have a comfortable shit, I need to take my. I need a cold floor. I need to take my socks off. I often will take off my shirt as well. Sometimes I blow <laughs> on my belly to just to get a cold breeze on it. I've I've actually started taking my shirt off too when I go to the bathroom. Yeah, it really helps. It does. What, really? I hate I hate a warm bathroom and I when I have to shit. I and love I, it. I I can't stand. I can't. Stand a warm toilet seat either. What? I hate warm toilet seats. That's the nice thing You know what you're doing. I do. I, I have a lot of experience. You're a veteran of shitting, right? I, because especially when I lived in countries like Malaysia or Taiwan during the summers, it's so hot. It's like 100 degrees and I'm profusely sweating and I'm trying to well, poo. That's not And nice. this toilet seat's all slippery with my ass sweat <laughs> and I'm like blowing on my sweaty oh. belly just to get like... Wait, is just this like a ritual? I'm talking about like lukewarm. That's nice. When you sit on a toilet and it's like someone already just sat on it but it's not yeah. too warm. You like it when it's pre-warmed by somebody else's ass? I enjoy my shits. I will bring in a Game Boy, I'll bring in a comic or a novel. I love taking the shit too. Minutes. I just don't want to imagine that I'm like, I've got the same, you know, ass imprint <laughs> as somebody else. If, like, I can't it. do it, Zach, he, he walks into a bathroom yeah, he and shotguns. he sits down, he shotguns, goes, and he's done. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Zach, goes, Zach goes, oh, I need a shit. He, he shits faster than he's right back, back, he's right back downstairs. But fucking... Me too, I don't take that long to shit. I like sitting down and I like fucking just just letting my sphincter go loose. Yeah. And then you just wait for it all to fall out over 20 minutes. Oh yeah, like, take your time. Like, there is nothing take left your time. in there. Matters. You guys ever been halfway through a shit and then you sneeze and it cuts your turd in half? Yeah. Yes. That's Absolutely. Good. It's just like some like... That's the worst though. That's, that's, that's good the time. worst. No, then you got two turds for the price of one. Yeah, you know, sometimes if I know I'm going to have like, if I feel like, oh my God, this turd is going to rip my ass. <laughs> you can tell sometimes that it's going to happen. I will purposely be like, okay, no, this is not happening tonight. My ass is staying whole. What I'll do is I'll pinch it off because I because it actually helps. Because mm. once, if a really huge turd, I'm talking like you know those salami turds come out <laughs> and it's halfway out, yeah. there's you you know you're done. You know what happened to me once? What? No, but you're gonna tell me. <laughs> it only what happened to me once. What happened? I, what? I got constipated for like a week and a half. Yeah. Like, for the week and a half, you're and then like, you coughed up a turd. No, <laughs> no, you're like, I, do you know how I eventually got it out? How? I like, I got in the shower and I like. I pretty much put shampoo up my ass to lube. <laughs> oh my I, god! I, I, I like washed it up into my ass. That's a right? good idea. And I got back out instantly. Went over to like sat in the toilet really fast. I was like, <laughs> and it's like I, I pushed for like thirty minutes, and then eventually it was like, bloop, and it was just like a little Malteser. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Right? And I was like, it's bullshit. But then later on, I went into the kitchen, and I was like, oh. but then I was like, oh god, oh god! I ran into the bathroom. It was just like. <laughs> it was just like a week and a half's worth. Literally, it was like a fucking cow turd. Chris, it was like it was like coming out was, of the toilet. Chris, it was like an it iceberg. Was, it was a fucking like it was huge. Was it, was it one of those? It was like curl up. It was no, it was slurry like it was. Chris, just, like, I know exactly what you're talking it was about. Where you like, put a little flag in the top of it, like <laughs> ta -da! no, it was <laughs> Chris. it was like pure slurry. It was like a fucking oh, tank of it. What? I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Where you have like that shit that's stuck, and you're like. You're like, I gotta dilate my asshole or something, so you fucking go and finger yourself to- What?! That's what you do! What?! You have to open your ass! What?! Dude, I don't feel like I'm the only one I wanna- that. I really wanna know, I wanna poll- By the way- Anyone who comments, whatever your listen, comment is- listen. Hold on, whatever your comment is in this podcast, at the very end, just say yes or no. That's it. Just like write your comment, write yes or no. And if you're saying yes, that means you finger your asshole so right, you shit didn't yeah. come out. Yeah. Yes. And if, you're, and if you yes. write no, no that's then you bullshit. are a civilized, that normal human being. That is fucking bullshit. By the way, oh, that is can I just let you know you don't do that? You're an animal. I you're tried a fucking everything. liar. I, I went to the doctor. I bought I'm that fucking you, shit your pants liquid. Mirla. Nothing I am, works. I am telling you right now, if you don't have any fucking Pepto and you have indigestion, the best thing to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to finger your fucking ass until it's loose oh enough. Oh my god. And then you can you're shit it out. You're dead serious. Yes! Corey, I've Corey you are dead serious. <laughs> I've done it. Corey, have you ever- I like, have not- I'm I have, calling I the have, police. I have nothing wrong. No, 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 wrong. fuck that. I'm gonna beat you up. I have nothing up. wrong, okay? I wasn't- in the parking lot. I wasn't fingering myself and coming. Like, it wasn't a fuck. I wasn't prostate <laughs> massage. No, you're fingering I yourself was, and shitting! <laughs> yeah, I was fingering it so I could shit. Yeah, it's, you have to break the fucking wall barrier to let this shit out. Oh my god. 
It's a, it's an old Chinese remedy. I thought you fucking knew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Con- old <laughs> Chinese technique. <laughs> so you got asshole poop Fate, first. Fate, Fate, Fate. Have you ever been constipated to that degree? I've been constipated. I've been constipated, but uh, I, I got to admit, I, I've never ever felt the impulse oh, to shove an object also, up my anus. Well, listen. There's another thing you can do. There's another thing you can do is when you're shitting, you fucking like jiggle your ass and spank your butt a little bit. <laughs> I'm not joking. I learned a lot. And that you way. ovulate. You, you ovulate. I your want a ass. poster of Corey's shit techniques. No, man. Uh, finger in ass. Uh, ass cheek jiggle. <laughs> this is true. Uh, right? No, no. You shake your ass. Your hand in, grab the turret, and pull if, it if out. If you're yes. constipated like that, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to rock back and forward really, really hard. And, 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 yes, you I ovulate swear. your cheeks. You shake them. You get your loose <laughs> butt gro- grooving. Before, before the post-traumatic that. stress syndrome, rocking back and forth shit technique. <laughs> before that fucking constipation epidemic, I used to like, I used to go like three days without shitting. I'd be like, whatever. But now I shit like t- like once or twice a day. Yeah. And now I've haven't been constipated. Since. That's good. Have you, you guys should, ever? You should be shitting fairly regularly. Have you guys regularly. ever like shit in a shower? No. I have. Uh, it's. I thought Nile did, once but I just never did not. I, d- I did. Not. Please, shit? please, please don't. Please don't, Corey. No, don't, don't, no, no, no. Don't say it. Have you ever like? Uh, have you? No, no. I mean, memory. like, have, have you? Listen, have you ever had? Mm-hmm. A situation where your ass was like it was really sweaty that day, so you got a lot of little like fibers from your yeah yeah, and you have your ass has like all these like weird yeah like, yeah yeah like belly button lint but yeah ass yeah belly, exactly ass, ass lint, lint. Yeah. so you have to clean your ass yeah just like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah I've done that, that. that just like that's what I was gonna say I'm not saying shit I'm like have you ever like clean your ass and then like you have all these like weird fibers I thought out. you were gonna say have you Card. literally spread eagle in a shower and just blasted a turd <laughs> against the shower wall Corey. spread <laughs> eagle like like a that's fucking right. nasty just like like bullets, like throwing fucking meatballs at the wall. That, that, that's never happened to me. But when I was a kid, I, you know when you're a kid, you can have bad. You have bad. You've totally spread eagle and shit you, all you over have bad, the You have bad when you're co- with your like sisters and your cousins and your brother. Yeah, I have bad yeah. with your like little family. Yeah, I was in there with my cousin once, and like I, I was just like playing, playing with my rubber. So recent, I'm picturing like these kids playing in a bath, and someone comes in, fucking spread eagles. Shit. I was, I was imagining no. the other way around. I was imagining they're in the shower, and they were like on their back with their legs up in the air, and they're fucking like no. shooting up in the air. It's worth like I, 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 was, like a I was playing with my like little toy boat, and I was like, Wee, yeah. And like all of a sudden, right where like the boat was, right parallel to the boat, like a just a big turd just like. <laughs> Floats up to the top, and, and it was like, and, and like half of it was over the water, and half of it was under the water. So there was that like a little ring thing. I was like, ah! Is that you? I ran out. Was that that was my fucking cousin. <laughs> I was about to say, thing. Corey like unearthed a memory in my head there a minute ago. What'd I do? You were talking about that and I was just like, wait a second, when I was younger, I took a shit in the bathtub. I when you were shit. younger though? Yeah, when I was like yeah. four. Yeah, that's, yeah. I feel like kids have done that. Yeah. I'm just saying like a Corey thing like, oh, I guess shoving my fucking thumb and my fist up my ass isn't no, working. No, you just um, use a finger. Rocking back you, and forth. You dilate yeah. your ass. You like, I'm, like I'm a fucking what? crazy person what? No, isn't what working. No, you were saying there. That, that Jiggling whole, my butt that cheeks isn't working. What'd you do? Is you 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 pull out that big old horse stick and you fuck it. That's how you loose your ass. Wait, hey, Chris was saying something. Wait, I'm just trying to remember. You know what you were just talking about having bats with your cousins and shit. Yeah. Did I ever tell the story about me and my sister in the bath? No. No. Do you I, guys remember? I, that? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like uh, this last time you were in Ireland. Yeah. That was it. Over Christmas. <laughs> what happened? Me and my 26 year old sister. <laughs> We're shitting in the bath. Yeah, we were together in the bath, though. though. No, wait. So I, I didn't tell the story where when I was like four, my sister was. Wait, I must have been three, actually. My sister was four in the bathtub. We're both taking baths because that's what like, like brothers and sisters do. And your yes. parents are like, ha 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 ha. But I was just like. Just wait till just, you're older. I just remember sitting there and I just started pissing. And all I remember is my sister looking down and seeing the yellow coming at her. And she was just like, ah! <laughs> And she was like, and was like, just grabbed her right on time before the piss like got. I thought she, I thought she, I thought she was, like, be, she was be so scared. She was like, ah, it's like splashy, it's like spraying everywhere back at you. No, I swear it was like Indiana Jones. It's like right before the dun, thing. Dun, so like, yeah. Tuck her out right before the pee hit her. Who <laughs> sure do you talk about turds and piss and stuff? Yeah, we it's talk, just we, an we easy, good like. It's a relatable minutes. conversation. Everybody poops. Everybody pees. Like that book. Like yeah, that just like that book. Everybody comes. Everybody comes. Where's that? Book. Everybody comes. Here's a horse. Here's a cow. Everybody comes. When you were learning about anatomy, anatomy growing up, and you were like typing in like 
<laughs> like you were typing in vagina and penis. Like, yeah. Like yeah. You, you get these images of like dicks being cut apart and just yeah. like, like you have like boils on their penis. And Actually, stuff. the worst thing to do is to Google something like vagina or penis. Because yeah, oftentimes clinical. you'll get a whole bunch of things like burn victim penises yeah. or like dissected penises. Like yeah, and then you'll see like a porn shot too. Then yes. you'll see like, you know, Lex Steele or Peter yeah, North. And then yeah, you get all confused. Dicks. You'll like, see like someone who cut open a dick so it's like still bleeding and shit. Yeah. So you're getting a mix of like, you know, <laughs> porn sexy images, clinical diagrams, and like, Horrific, <laughs> dissected, tragic accidents. I was, I was doing um, a pro. I was doing a, a project on cows. Yeah. And I needed to know the anatomy of a cow. Right. So I was looking up cow anatomy, and I was looking up like I was learning certain words. Like there's certain yeah. parts because they're they're not the same as us. Right. I mean they are, but they're not. And I was getting these just like horrific fucking images of cows like fucking like. You know, like horse flies and shit eating apart their like yeah. Yeah. pussies and stuff. You know what? Like, even if you even if you Google image something like smiles, you'll get like these people who had like car accidents and their faces <laughs> split open and shit. Yeah, it's or like, like Glasgow smiles. You yeah, that? yeah, or yeah, you'll get some weird, creepy like yeah, somebody got cut along yeah, the sides of you, their if mouth. You, if you look up like. If if you look up like burn victim, you'll get like happy families like eating fucking like turkey sandwiches, just like <laughs> nice images. But if you actually look up like happy family, you get like fucking mutilated families. Yeah, that's right. Like like all in like yeah, it's like they were a happy family. Oh, dude. <laughs> I never understood that. It's like I thought Google was supposed to be like family oriented. How come you're giving me all these like clinically things? That's because that's, like, you turned diagrams. off. You turned off. Safe the, search. You turned on the show me disgusting shit button. <laughs> this is a safe filter. Do you notice Google got rid of porn now? Yeah. 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 What? But, but they never said it. They just did. You just noticed. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, well, they yeah. didn't. No, yeah, they, they did. did. They did. Like they did. it must have happened last night because I the no, addresses Google images. Google addresses images. are still up. Like you can still go to like websites, but the images. Yeah, you Google images. You can't see porn anymore. It's very even if you turn on. Uh, like turn off safe search it's just like if you look up like you might get like a boob shot or something if you yeah look if up, you like, look up like tits, like sexy get... tits or something you'll just get like girls in bikinis yeah what? very yeah. g stuff i'm you pretty you sure have to go to you what have to you'll go to get is what you were talking about you'll just get girls with like fucking like their titties are getting cut open to be filled with like uh, like uh what do you call that stuff milk no, girls don't get their titties cut open to be filled with milk. Wait, well, do. what do they get filled? What, you mean silicon? Yes. Oh, How okay. Does the milk get in there? It's, <laughs> it's bored inside them. <laughs> Take this milk. You gotta get a curly straw. You know, drink some milk and in blow it into the curly straw while it's in Wait, your Wait, is it true? Is it really true that guys can lactate? Yeah. yeah. So I milk do. is coming out I of a lactate. guy's titty. Yeah, I, I lactate. No, I you do. don't. I do. Do you want me to show you? No. Yeah. Have you ever tasted it? Yeah. It Wait a minute. You're gonna drink your own titty juice, but you're not gonna eat your own cum? Ah! Yeah. I see, see this is where I think, I, and listen, we're not going back to that, but I do think that bodily fluids are bodily fluids, yeah, and there's nothing, own. that's exactly what, what I think. Or you, is a bodily your bodily fluid, fluid right, no, but it, it doesn't matter. That was my initial thing, it was like, if you eat your own snot, or if you swallow your own snot, or if you eat crud out of your, whatever, your fingernails, or your- <laughs> If you eat your snot, you're gay. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, yeah, we don't need to go there, but yeah. That happened to- oh, can I tell a story? Yeah. You reminded me, that I used to sit- okay, in school, in math class, I used to sit next to this gross freak. Oh no, I can't say that. Don't, don't listen to it. Okay, okay, sorry. Why can't, can't you say that? that? Foul, gross-smelling fucking Wait, no, it, it was a mirror! <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case he listens to it, I need to be nicer, okay? Okay. Okay, so I used to sit in a math class next to this tall, lanky, Weird fellow. With and one, and it's so much nicer. <laughs> and one day, one day he just fucking sneezes and he, he just turns to me and he holds his hand up to me and it's like a spider web of snot. Oh! And he, was just, he was just showing me. As oh. a, like, why would. Why? Like. Look what I did! Yeah, like, what? If I did that, I wouldn't just show it to. I'd be, I'd be like, fucking embarrassed. Like, fucking wipe it under the desk or Dude, something. Dude, that, that happened to me not too long ago. I was like. And I sneeze. I thought it was a normal sneeze, and yeah. then I had this like huge gunky spiderweb thing in my hand. I'm like, ugh! I didn't know what to There's do with it. There's an alien baby. It was in your gross. Hand. I, it's like my whole fucking hand. Like I said, like I stuck it in kid gack, and I was like, kid gack. What is it about? What is it about when we were kids? I remember when I would have these like stuffy noses, where like I was blowing bubbles with snot, and it was like crust like all along yeah. my upper lip. And when you got scabs, they were like little mounds. Like they mm. were like these big, yeah, yeah, yeah. huge, chunky chocolate chip cookies. 
knees on your knees and shit. <laughs> like, we would have, like, I don't know, I just felt like everything was crustier and, and bigger and goopier and it's grosser. because when you're small, the, the, the scabs, like, they look the density yeah. always stays the same size, so when you grow up, it just seems smaller. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, girl. Thanks, mm. Dr. Science. When I was sitting, <laughs> when I was sitting in school, I sat beside this girl, and uh, she was, she'd always, she was really annoying. I think she had a crush on me, and she kept going, Nayola! After everything I say, <laughs> and it was really Dude, weird. Dude, you were making fun of somebody. And she always. Oh, I get it. You were in special ed, yeah? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. And she always, she always, like, farted. It was, like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I had to deal with that for like a fucking year. I like year. you. That shit. I like you. I want, no, but then she hated. She hated me because one day she was sitting ahead of me because I didn't. I just didn't want to sit there anymore. Was she hot? No, she was nasty. Oh, no, I, I wish she was no. the hottest girl in school. No, she and, like, was She was farting Niall, and talking. If you had this girl who who uh, spoke broken pig Latin or whatever the fuck you speak, and she also had like a farty butt syndrome, would you hit it or quit it? Is she I, super that, hot? That, that, that's what pig happened, pig. and I quit it. She speaks pig Latin. But she, <laughs> you hit it. But she said, "No, I spit it." But she sat well, right. I said, hit it. So what the thing is, what happened was, I didn't want to sit there anymore. So I sat behind her, and uh, you know those. Why like, do you sit behind her if she's farting? It was the only seat available, oh, and it was better no. than sitting. This is why I look at her butt cracks sticking up out of her little jeans. You wanted. To that's what I was about to say. <laughs> um, you know those. You know those chairs were like. There's like squares oh, near yeah. the bottom that where there's like empty, yeah. empty, like for some reason there's like a hole in the bottom. Maybe that's just in Ireland. There's Wait, chairs. A hole where, in the bottom of your chairs. Yeah, they're like, like plastic chairs. Plastic chairs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then there's like a hole, like an uh, like a like a letterbox or something at the bottom. Okay, yeah. And her ass crack. She was kind of um, heavy, so like her ass crack was like seeping through like the Play-Doh machines. And I was I could not stop laughing. And <laughs> every she, time she farted. Oh, did, did you, you try see to kind throw? Of ripple yeah, a little yeah bit? that's like, the thing. I was no. like, and that made me laugh even more. Did you try to throw stuff inside of it? No, but oh god, like your dick. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, no but I was then, just sitting behind her with his little kid dick in the sand trying to throw it in. And I just could not stop laughing. And then, <laughs> like, bu- like a oh, penny in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, go on. And then someone, I think someone told her I was laughing at her for the, or, or she heard me laughing at her and oh. she hated me. Oh. And I think she just thought I was laughing at her, but she didn't know I was just laughing at her, like, butt crack hanging out. Yeah. Alright, let's get into the real meat of what I was thinking of. Did you guys talk about torpedo titties? Whoa, what the fuck? We Is that Zach? Hey, Zach. Whoa. Holy shit, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> oh my god. That's Ninja. not Zach, that's Niall. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is the best impression of Zach I've ever fucking heard. No, no, no. Uh, say, my name's Zach, I, uh, my wiener looks like a dead fetus. Hey guys, it's me, Zach, my wiener looks like a dead fetus. Holy shit, dude, that is the best impression I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, wait, wait, check this one out. <clears throat> so guys, <laughs> me, Niall, that's my name, by the way. Oh my uh, god. Whenever I see a baby, Oh I get God. so worked up. He I would say to, that too. I have to hold the feelings back. Hold on, Nick. Watch, watch, watch how fast I can switch back. Okay. So, like, it, it it takes a bit of training to get used to, but uh, once you get Holy into the character shit. of that, you can do it. Like, like, check this one out. Sorry, I couldn't do it that time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna fart. I wasn't in the moment. <laughs> Here's my Zach right, impression. I, I, what I was gonna say, let's get into the real discussion. You see this nice old lady, she's doing good deeds, and it yeah. just gets you rowdy. You're waiting for her to fuck up. <laughs> Did you ever see that video of that- Then what?! Did you ever see that video of that guy who fucks granny? That fucker! There you go. Is that what you wanted? Is that are you happy? Are you entertained? <laughs> then you fucking- you, you, you knock her over her Ford sedan and you take that bitch. That's right. <laughs> She's fucking carrying somebody's groceries. <laughs> like, she was helping Chicken fucking... Boy across the street, and I was like, you, "Oh my god!" You knock her over. That's fucking right. Adult huggies fall I'm down. so glad you, you were wearing her. that Sunday dress. <laughs> I, I, there's, there's some pretty hot mature women. I do agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I would consider, like, you know, when is. people are like milfs. Is that... But is it your preference? Uh, I, I really. Not really. It's just kind of one of those side. Is it the first tab you go to under categories when you go to? No, absolutely uh, not. No, but it might be second. No, no. Okay. It might be my second or third though. My first tab is uh, either uh, um, either ass licking or. Uh, is that a tab? <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's a drop down menu. It, it's, it's part, part of your bookmarks. Menu. It's a fart down menu. <laughs> no, it's a drop down menu. It's either like ass licking or something kinky. I have no idea why most websites don't have gangbang as one of the tabs. They do. I'm not a no. A lot of them don't. They, don't they all have, have group. You know, they don't have gangbang. Wank DB, my friend. You know, I Wank went to Wank DB. It doesn't exist. It does so exist. I went there. It didn't I exist. I go there every day. <laughs> Dude, I go to. Porn, I run it. <laughs> porn MDB. 
MD. Oh, porn MD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MD, yeah, porn yeah, MD. Yeah, yeah. Wank TV. I've been going to XNXX ever since I was 15. There's oh, yeah, that's what there's also There's also Tube Galore. Tube Galore is really good. I used to go to a fucking porn hub, but it seems too typical for my taste. Yeah, everyone's me too. Like, everyone's like, I'm always on Red Tube. It's like, man. Yeah, yeah. you're a fucking vanilla bitch. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get to them tubes. <laughs> you gotta get to them tubes. <laughs> One of my favorite is um, uh, ToysRUs.com uh, or Babies R Us because they've got all. <laughs> Yeah, you can. You can get, <laughs> I can peruse that one. one. I, I wish they had gangbang in the categories you see, there like, too. You see, see like, like little baby kids, wear and shit. Little that kids really pushing funny. the stroller, smiling. <laughs> That'd be good if, like, on a website like that, it's like it's like electronics, you know, furniture, gangbangs. Like, what? what? So, Chris, I'm on WankTV.com right now, yeah. and um, it, it starts off with a load of categories. What's your go-to category? I go to short hair. Chris, what? Yeah, short hair. Kind of really? Yeah. That's such an interesting category. Nah, nah look for hair. look for ass licking. Yeah, have you right ever there. dated a girl with Told short you. hair? Yeah. Told you. Ass licking is right there. Right there. Have ass ever, licking is always. Have you ever born. have you ever gone out with a girl and she was like, "Hey, what could I do to to what could I do to spice things up? What what do you like? You know what th that I can do besides being like suck my dick? But you'd be like, I want you to cut your hair. <laughs> Would you ever do that? Probably. If really? They, if they offered. Wow. I'm actually... I don't know, I, like... That's something that's never bothered me. Would a girl be hotter? Let's say you were going out with a girl, she had long hair, you thought she was hot. If you, if she had short hair, yeah, I don't would know. she be automatically become hotter to There's you? There's just something yeah. about it, I don't know, yeah. Hair doesn't bother me. What if she had a shaved head? It's called, like, yeah. the shortest of hair. Yeah. It's really? Close, it's closer yeah. to a boy. Like, I, I, I prefer the pixie cut. <laughs> it's like Captain Picard. I like, uh... <laughs> Like I, I like I like those Patrick Stewart. I like those punky shaven cuts, but but uh, fucking I don't know. Yeah, pixie cuts. Uh, I I saw something. Um, Ollie showed me a, a like the, he, there was like a thing that they did a vote thing, and it said that more girls were into being being um like strangled yeah. and yeah. hit. They're yeah. Being, yeah. Like, yeah. They they're into being like you, feeling like the victim. You like, have no idea how many that. there are like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've, no, I've started like to that. notice that. Yeah. yeah. I started to notice that these these girls like and it's it's funny too because like these people are like they freak out about rape. But I a lot of girls say, have huge fantasies about yeah. rape. I would actually say it's almost true. all of them. And I'm not saying yeah. they all have rape fantasies, but they all no, have like they all want to be rough. They want to I think it's the danger it's like the danger but like it's still safe. Like they know that you're not gonna like you know kill them. Like me. I, I would love to be restrained, <laughs> but I would be terrified at the same time. Even if, but I mean, that's what, like, I know I could do it with Lexi. Because she could just, like, bite your dick off and then yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just run but, down like, the street. You, you have to have a trust thing and you have to be able to experience that. And I would like to think yeah, if, if Lexi had something, sense. if she really wanted me to do something to her, that I, I would do it. I yeah. wouldn't have I actually think it. that's one of the, uh, one of the I think prime, that's really healthy. I think that's one of the prime, uh, one of the bullet points that a lot of people who are into bondage when they talk about how it strengthens relationships, like a lot of people think it's weird that you know you choke people or tie no. people up or that or whip them or whatever, and then you know one of the arguments is well you know it actually takes a lot of trust to be able to do something like that, yeah. and to and if you're ever willing to go there, if you're willing to to give in to that, that you really trust that person, I can see where yeah, that comes from. When they want to be yeah. strangled, they don't actually want to be like fucking like, like strangled. <laughs> like you, you just you yeah. gently like do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And same with pulling the hair, you, you like get a clump of it and you kind of pull, you don't pull it like at the roots, you don't make it like yeah. that, you just kind of like, kind of yeah. wrap it up and you go. Yeah, like, they're like, yeah, they like the whole restraint yeah, being just, held yeah, down while you do stuff. I'm learning so much from all you guys. Listen, the next I mean, time I like you get a rough girl, sex, but I, Next time honestly, you get a girl, I, Chris, I, it gets smack weird her in the sometimes. face. Shove her shit against the side fucking of the bed. <laughs> yeah, if there's just like some guy the like you know <laughs> sucker punching <laughs> a girl like square in the nose. I just feel she like doggy it's so hard. Yeah, no. She'd be like, oh yeah, and just fucking break her nose. Yeah, that would that would be not good. <laughs> you know what a lot of girls are actually into? If you get like pliers and put it in fire for like ten minutes. Shut up! No, no, seriously. They are. They're no, into being no, branded no, too. No, no, Mick, I'm telling you, you put pliers in fire for like ten minutes, right? Mick, you, you, oh you get both fists. You no. shove one upper pussy, one no, upper ass. No, it's serious. Get He's them right. nice and wide. You get, and then you, you get... shove the pliers in and rip no, out the goose. Serious. Oh my god, it's Chris. serious. Chris! What? Mick. Chris! What? You get one of those fucking like hot irons and you press it into the side of her cheek. They fucking come. They love that shit. They do. <laughs> Especially if you brand them with your name or something. Yeah, you brand I them. Take, I take back the, the fact that I thought you guys were ladies' men. You guys are savages. You guys Why should did you be, even say you that? You guys should be chained up in a basement. We are not ladies' men. And with pliers up your ass. <laughs> get, get your gold no, and twist what I did when I was younger... Okay, so I was in uh, elementary school. I was 11 at the time. There was a girl in my class called Carolyn, right? I had a big crush on her. 
And uh, I remember one time I sent her a note in class. You'd be like, pass that on. And yeah. It was like, will you go out with me? And yeah. she sent one back. It was like, yes. And I was like, here. Aww. No, 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 no. Right, right. Anyways, I was like, yes. And then uh, I didn't ever talk to her, right? Like, ever. Like, I never said a fucking word to her. She never said oh. a word to me, right? Yeah. And then, um, like, a few months later, I got a note in class. And I was like, I'm sorry. There's someone else. And I, <laughs> and I sent back a note. It was like the most gory stick man, right? It was like the words, I hate you. With the Y, like, piercing through her head. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my! How old were you? I was oh. eleven. <laughs> this and is she was like, just like look back, like <gasps> you do know that when you become a mass murderer, they're gonna go all the way back. <laughs> She's gonna recount that story. Her face is gonna be in the shadows. <laughs> they're gonna have her like behind a glass wall or whatever, and she's gonna be recounting that. story. I don't know why I got so mad. I never even talked to her. <laughs> oh my god! When you're a kid, everything fucking—it's always the end of the world. Yeah, Isn't always. It weird that your we pants and fucking dirty, and you wanted to wear your favorite pants and. They <laughs> forgot to wash them. You're not going to school, and you hate your parents. You know what? Every time I see her, oh, like whenever I go home for Christmas, I like I see her around town or whatever. I always oh. be like, "Hey, Carolyn." She just like always looks away. It's like, oh, you probably still remember that <laughs> I hate you. Thing, huh? She's got it hung over her bed, <laughs> next to pictures of your face well, with like she, daggers she in it. She goes to her psychiatrist now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I used to be mean to girls, and like, and I would go up to this. Uh, this this chick's name who was uh, Devin K. I'll just say that. And I used to call her Donkey Kong and make little monkey <laughs> noises. There, when I was in elementary school, there were these two girls, uh, Elisa and Nell, and I had a crush on both of them actually. And at one point, I remember I don't know why I thought it would be good, but I walked up behind them while they were talking and I slammed their heads together. Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know why. They I thought it was died instantly. I think it was just like you know, like give me attention or something. Yeah. Oh I man, what? Oh, I forgot. When I was eleven, uh, I was in school and. Um, this girl who was heavy was in my class, and uh, she was she she was out sick or something. Mm. And the teacher was like, "Oh, where is Nicole?" Uh, we'll just say Nicole. Uh, I was like, "She's out couch shopping because she can't fit in her seat." <laughs> and no one laughed. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the teacher looked at me and he was like, "Get the fuck." No, out. we. I remember like, and I still have this problem now. But there are times when I want to blurt out the worst fucking thing. That was like, one of the things where I wasn't thinking; it just came out of my mouth. Right, exactly. I I've had to learn to, 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 you know, to censor myself. Yeah. But I don't even today. I mean, not today, but even like now at this age and this time, I'll be standing in line and I'll see an old lady, and and just a part of me wants to just. Push her as hard as I can while she's got her groceries. I don't know why. Dude, I get the same impulse. Am I crazy? Because you're psychos. No, no, I get the no. same impulse. I see... Like, I would never do it. No, no, yeah. I see this, like, person... Who, yeah, like a really feeble person. I'm just like, what would happen? I fucking just like pushed him yeah. off like the side. Or you go into like a really expensive place where stuff costs like three grand. Oh, and you just want to break and you everything. You just want to fucking shove. Yeah, I absolutely have that's, like, that's like that thing where you're like flying an airplane. And you're like, I'm gonna fly this into twin towers. Yeah. yeah. You know when you go to a mall and you're on like the third floor and you can always see down like the balcony onto the marble floor. You always think like you could just easily just jump off. I that. I have I, I have been right. like if I jumped off I I could probably live but then just not be, function again. All your I was like I could be broken. dead in five seconds if I want to. I don't yeah. want to, but I'm and just like if think, I want to. And then you think you think that if you jump off you think how many people would crowd around to that, like that's see. That's what I was saying because as I was thinking of it like two kids like two like five year olds and their parents were just walking right towards. Yeah, them. you like, could I jump could just, fucking. I just could make that kid never flat next that. to them and fucking give them like yeah. post traumatic. <laughs> At the same time, if I saw you shove a lady as hard as you could. Good. Like an old lady. You would fucking laugh. I would, no, I wouldn't, I might laugh, but then I would, <laughs> then I would beat the shit out of you. Yeah. I absolutely I, would. I would never, I would never go up to like an old person doing something and just fucking like tackle them while they're like trying to pay for something. Are you sure? Uh, absolutely. I, I mean, I have weird impulses to do stuff like that. Just like sometimes, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like I'm slightly What if an crazy? old lady came at you, or you're at the Newgrounds office, right? And you just finished jacking off in the bathroom. You, you're totally, like, you're in this nice calm state, and it's quiet, and it's dark, and then all of a sudden, out of the shadows, this crazy old lady comes after you with a knife. She's running at you full speed. She's like, ah! she, she has no teeth, no and teeth. her tongue's sticking out. What do you do? What do you do? You fucking fuck her. Right, would, you, would you punch her square in the face? Yeah. Would you Jump kick up. her? You Drop kick that bitch. Would you right? drop kick her? Yes. Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't you feel would... bad. You wouldn't be hesitant. Absolutely. She was an old lady. This, this crazy bitch is coming at me with a knife. I All right. Feel like she I have hits to... the ground. The knife slides across the floor. She crawls at it like fast forward speed. Oh my god! Like, well, like, that, like that a crazy case horror is not film. a real old lady. She is. No, she is. But she's like absolutely like jacked up. She crawls at it like a, a fucking crazy spider. Grabs it. Comes right back at you. What do you do yeah, now? What do you do? I Jackie Chan hit the 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 firm real artery. No, no. I I Jackie Chan. 
and hit the fucking pool table so it slides in and crushes her. All right, crushes her, it crushes her, half of her body's crushed. She pushes her other half with her arms and, and her legs are still under there. She literally ripped herself in half. Grab, the knife is by you now though. What she's are you gonna do? She's a fucking zombie. She's crawling at you with her hands. She's I'm crawling right. at you with her hands. She's like, hur, hur, hur. I go back she's into like the bathroom. She's like army crawling at you. I she go gave back you the knife. the bathroom and lock the door. Corey, you what? She, she kisses both of her hands. She's like, go, oh. and they they attach like spiders. They crawl over the door. They crawl around. They crawl over like, you. She reaches in a purse and brings out a little chocolates, and she goes, "These are for you." You know what? You're you are a gentleman. You are a true gentleman. Yeah. I thought you were gonna like stomp her head or something. Yeah. What would yeah. you be do if you were being chased by a horde of grandmas wanting to give you a kiss on the cheek? If that's all they're trying to do. They just want to go there. Like, come here, come here, come here. You're so cute. And I'd stop and stick my tongue out. We all know what you do. You you run into a telephone booth and actually like you're making a phone call while they all run by. And what? A, a, a mob of old ladies coming to kiss me? Yeah, all they want to do is kiss you on the cheek. Cause I they just think, stop. They say, give me the sugar. They're, really? Yeah. But there's loads boy. of them. They're going to crowd you. You're a good boy, you. Corey. They're going to crowd I'm you. I'm just getting some old lady kisses. Yeah, I might smell, uh, smell like cats and like mothballs, but that's a small price to pay. <laughs> mothballs? When yeah, I they younger, do. I genuinely had an auntie who had like a beard. And she still would be like... <laughs> She's always be like, oh, everyone had a bearded auntie. No, I know it's such a cliche. I don't know why, but it's yeah. like, oh, come give me a kiss. You're like, oh, fuck. I was, I was, <laughs> I was browsing like through porn because I was like really horny one day, and is I there came beard across, porn? No, I was, I came oh. across like it's like you get these like weird obscure like things like when you go to tubes, you have like these like choices like you scroll through yeah, like, like subgenres. Like, yeah, subgenres that you don't click and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then there's this one genre which was it was like um cum facials and stuff yeah and it was this like old lady with a black like mustache oh, i no. thought it was like the lighting oh, on it no. so i got really curious oh, and no. i clicked it and this oh, black dude was jerking no. up and she had a like she had a milk mustache that's what my auntie was like she, she, had, oh. she had white hair she was like fucking a million years old but she had a oh. black <laughs> mustache no. oh, yeah. guys that imagery Grand i'll the, never the fucking mustache cum facial no <laughs> She was a great aunt, by the way. Is she still alive? No, nah, she's God. fucking dumb. Wait, do you say she's a great aunt or a great aunt? Oh. She was a great aunt. Like, she was my granddad. Yeah, oh, you know, I just got this imagery of, like, this really, really old lady with that black mustache, and there's just this, this yeah. big black dude coming all over her face, and then she's, yeah. like, licking it with her, like, yes. little tongue. She's like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very visible. I thought it was just a lighting. Like, I thought it was just weird lighting in the porn video. You ruined my life. <laughs> I'm going to go home and drink a <laughs> bottle of bleach now. And jerk off. <laughs> and jerk off until I die. Die. <laughs> in my opinion, I, I understand that sex is like one of those things where people do weird things, but there are just so many like puke shit or I, don't I just like cannot vomit. or shit vomit. shit. I, I don't like I vomit. Just can't. Vomit I can't. is one of those things where it's like I see it and I'm just like because yeah. I think because I'm, like like I'm an empathetic vomiter. If I see people vomiting, I want to vomit. Yeah, me too. It's not like I'm gonna yeah. watch some. I have I have um, no gag reflexes, or I have gag reflexes. I yeah, think is what you say. Yeah. I have gag reflexes. Well, so here, open your mouth. We'll find out. If I if I Ooh. put my finger in my <laughs> mouth, I will puke. Uh, no matter what, like I, I have low tolerance for that kind of stuff. And when yeah. I see someone puke, cool. it makes me sick. Yeah. Check this out. Ah! Oh, stop! Just stop! I can't do it. I oh, got, I thought I, you were gonna. I don't, have, I don't have a gag reflex. I wasn't doing his pants. He's I was like almost puke every time. Hey boys, now doesn't have a gag reflex. I, I don't think he time. accidentally told the world about that. No, I just well, see like, guys, check it out. You just try to stick your whole fist in your mouth. <laughs> because I just want to show you that I don't have a gag reflex. Because when I was younger, I was felt really oh, sick, but I couldn't so when vomit. When I was younger, everyone would fuck my mouth. No, no, it was very, way more innocent than that. I couldn't vomit, and I was really sick, you and were I really a kid, needed to. So, fuck yeah. your mouth so I was like, nice. I was trying to do it because I saw on TV that people yeah. do that, and it just didn't work. Yeah, yeah, it sucks if you want to puke um, and you can't. Let's talk about sex, baby. Been, let's talk yeah. about you yeah, we've been and me about sex and poopy poop again. butts and torpedo dance. People don't and tune in to fucking figure out the equation for the nuclear uh, hadron collider. What? They, they tune in for shit and sex talk. What? Oh, he's just saying that, like, you know, we're a bunch of immature assholes. <laughs> true. We sit around Pretty talking much, about like. poopy, farty, sex. We got the farts, shit. we got the poops. We got the, we got the poops and the farts. We got the stories about We got the poopy poops. farts, we got the farty poops. <laughs> Step right up. Step right up. For Sorry. some reason, I kept finding the word beehole funny. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. You kept saying beehole. Ju juicy beehole. Juicy beehole. Juicy yeah. beehole. And it was like, uh, now it's kind of grating, but before it was really funny. And yeah. I was just like, Stanford, a girl with a big juicy beehole sticking out. He that's just, right. He would lose his shit. And he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't help the cause because he was also like. No, we were walking. I, I remember we were walking. And he's like, yo, Corey. And you're like, yeah. He's like, beehole. <laughs> and you were like. Ah! 
Yeah, it was I funny. Remember. Yeah. So it's like I don't think I'm ever gonna grow up. Like, and it's like it's your Toys R Us kid. Yeah. yeah uh, I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million beholes fucking toys that I can stick my dick in, <laughs> like bikes and trains <laughs> and video games. All right. It's the coolest toys. Shut story. up. We all know the song. God. I don't know it. I Wait, you talking about Toys R Us? Yeah. This, the theme Our song. one went. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Did it? No, it didn't. It did. It did no, it didn't. It did. That was the song? It was like... Toys R Us, Toys R Us! Yeah. Oh my god, that fucking sucks. I was living <laughs> in America at the time, so I got a good one. Toys R Us, Toys R Us! It was good. It was just... That's how it ended. It was like... Do, 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 do. And it goes, Toys R Us, Toys R Us, Toys R Us! That's Why terrible. would they change that? Yeah. They change everything. I don't That's wanna it. grow up. That one was iconic. Didn't you say that, uh... Well, Frosty it's like Oscar Mayer. Nobody sings yeah. the fucking Oscar Mayer song anymore. They go, wish I got... was an Oscar Mayer yeah. wiener. No when one I was says a kid, anymore. When I was a kid, we loved seeing it because you were saying wiener. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a toy. But then you were saying you were a wiener, right? fucking toys that I can play with. From bikes to video games. It's the coolest story there is. I don't know I got a giant stick in my butt I want to be a Toys R Us kid Toys go, Toys go, Toys R Us kid If I didn't grow up, I'd be a piece of shit called Katar Fuck you! Ah.